Hi, Ross. Back again, Andy. Time for combat. Yeah, but I'm in a really bad position, Ross. Yeah, but remember how when I won the initiative and forced you to move first, now you get your payback. You get to shoot first. So I can't and shoot with the second ship because I'm not facing forward at anybody. Correct. But my other ship, which is facing your flank, is that the right word? Flank? Yeah. Um, side flank, side. yes. That one I can shoot. So this is your specter um, firing at my chakram. If we look at the Spectre's card, we see basically the way combat works is you create an attack pool of dice. Uh, you will roll for hits, looking for seven or betters in most cases. When those hits come in, I will get to make a defensive roll using my shields and piloting to negate those hits. Any hit that survives goes through, we will roll on the damage results table. The thing about the damage results table is that a 10 blows up the ship, blows up the target. Well, I can. So, only no matter how good you are, you are always live in fear of the 10. Well, so, I'm also really let, close. So, sometimes. Correct. So, so, that'll help. So, let's look at. Correct. Well, again, if we look at the firepower of your two ships, fortunately, the Spectre does best at close range. If you look at the Wraith, he does best at short and medium range. So again, it's all part of the chess match and moving to get your ship where you want it, you know, where it can be most effective in the combat round. So if I read this right, so since I've got the specter and it's at short range, I get a five for my combat. It's pool. close range. Close range, yes. You get five dice for your firepower, but you also get two dice for your pilot's gunnery. So you're rolling seven dice looking for sevens or better. And tens, in, only in the attack roll, tens explode. So it, if you roll a 10, it counts as a hit and you get to roll again. Let's see if I'm lucky. If you're lucky. Ooh, I'm very lucky, Ross. You see this? So what did you roll? How many hits did you get? Well, I have a 9, an 8, a 7, another 8, and a 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus I get to re-roll my 10. Correct. Just the 5. Or, sorry, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, just the 5. I did not do well in the second roll. That's an exceptional roll. That's, you know, pays to be able to shoot first sometimes. Now, my poor Chakram, he's got... Shields of two, and my pilot has a piloting skill of three, so I get to roll five dice looking for sevens or better. And I get, I roll just as well as you, I got four successes. I rolled a 10, but on defensive rolls, tens do not explode. So only one of my but, shots really got through. Correct. And you roll on the damage, the attack results table, and let's see what kind of damage we get. Don't uh, roll a one. Roll a high number. I rolled a two. It was not great. <sighs> not Shield overload. Yes, no, not great. Not great for so you So shield for overload. <laughs> uh, not great for you. You should have, right. with that should have been able to do much more damage on that. So well I'll re roll uh, I, and you know we'll just yeah. I'm teasing. Well hopefully my shots will show what higher amounts of damage do. Right. How about so that? Gonna, I I don't like that, but okay. So so we, we look at the fighter card we look at the fighter card. Below each attribute there's two little boxes. Mm -hmm. I mark off one of those and I have to reduce my shields by half so my two goes down to a one and if it was an odd number you would have to round down um if that second box goes 
that attribute goes to zero, but the fighter can still fly. A third hit on any attribute box, any attribute, will destroy the fighter. So the Chakram doesn't have great shields. Now it has even less great shields, shall we say. And that finishes your combat round. So Next, movements, it's my turn. we take turns. Do we take turns with shooting? Yes, we alternate in shooting also, because the timing of damage matters. If you had been able to disable my chakram, you wouldn't be able uh, to shoot through, me. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to take the shot I'm going to do next, correct. So we look at my chakram. He's got a firepower of four at close range and a gunnery skill of two. So I'm rolling six dice, looking for sevens. And I score two hits. Well, no, it's not even. I, we, we left out a factor. Oh, um, the target's attitude. Oh. So I'm shooting you, uh, hitting your uh, front side so instead of five dice i should have only been rolling three dice because it's a minus two from that attitude gotcha so where's the best place to, uh, to shoot a ship we'll talk about the bolt after we resolve this one so that means but i only got one hit anyway so we'll resolve that attack we look at your wraith and he's got shields of five and you're piloting of three. So you're rolling eight dice trying to save one. Well, thankfully they give us lots of dice in the game. I have one, two, three, four successes. So, you know, no effect. Oh, measly, measly shot. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, because I have a 10 there. So the Chakram is, as shall we say, not one of the better ships in the game. Next, we'll do the Bolt's attack. So technically, I would have gone next, but my ship can't shoot anything. So that makes right. it your turn, right? Yep. Okay. So my Bolt, he has a firepower of six at close range. My gunnery is two, so we're rolling eight. And if we look at the target attitude, I'm shooting from right behind you, and that gives me an additional plus two. So I'm rolling ten dice. Can ten I veto that? Number... Hmm? Can I veto that? Uh, no. no. You just have to hope I roll spectacularly bad, which has been known to happen. Um, the game comes with ten dice per faction. There are cases where if you have more dice than ten, uh, you, you still only roll 10 dice, but you start lowering the target number. For example, if I was able to, if my piloting, or if my gunnery was three, um, that would have meant 11 dice. I still would have only rolled 10, but I would have been looking at target number sixes rather than target number sevens. So that's how that works. So I'm rolling 10 dice, looking for sevens or better. So I've got six and a 10. So, and my 10 misses. My So I've got six hits. Well, that's not good. Going into your specter. Your specter has, what's his defensive pool going to be? Um, let's see. We look at his shields, shields of the, which are plus three. your piloting so you're rolling six dice looking for six saves oh sticks. i got three so three hits go through yeah. you saved half of the hits I'm pretty sure three but i get to roll be bad though 
It, again, just depends. Um, so I'm rolling three times on the attack results table. And I rolled a one, which is a hard evade, which puts your fighter out of control. Uh -oh. That meant that you wouldn't have been able to shoot uh, if I had done that before your attack turn. But it also means you're out of control. And we have a handy dandy marker for that. You'll get to uh, attempt to regain control once all combat is done. So that resolves the one. I rolled a four, which is thrust. So you would lose your first thrust box. And your thrust would go from seven to three. He becomes a much less maneuverable fighter. Okay. And I rolled a nine. A nine is a devastating a hit. So first effect is a thrust hit. So you got a second thrust hit. That means your thrust goes to zero. So you're going to drift. You take an agility hit. Your agility goes down from three to one. Your control is also damaged. Uh, you have to do a cool test at difficulty one or go out of control. So to do a cool test, we look at your pilot's cool, which is two. You have to roll two dice to um, looking for one save I, I got in one. order to, so you're okay there. And that means that I don't have to look up what happens when you get two out of control markers in the same turn. So that ends combat. Uh, the bolt managed to get a significant shot into your specter and he's now drifting out of control. So do I have um, a chance to get it back in control? Theoretically, yes. Let's run that and see what happens. Uh, part of the problem point, is... we would be doing the next round and we would redo initiative, right? Correct. Okay. Um, part of the problem is... Recover control is cool plus control. Control. Um, so, but you don't have any thrust. So that's a look up in the rules to see what happens there. So your cool is two, mm -hmm. your control is two. So you're looking four dice for one success. I got no successes, so it's just out of control. Hold, hold it. Say that again. I got no successes. No no successes. Mm -mm. So that would put you to seriously out of control. Oh, no. Um, seriously out of control is really bad, but you don't have any thrust, so it doesn't matter. You're just drifting along, spinning, spinning wildly. Well, while right. I'm spinning, I'm going to try to shoot you. I don't think that works that way. <laughs> uh, so basically that ship's so disabled. That ship is absolutely, it's disabled. He uh, is going to continue moving in this direction until he flies off the board. Um, You're going to have to chase him down and kill him. And that very well may happen. So, <laughs> yes, that ends the full turn. Next, we would go on to the next turn with another roll of initiative, and we would repeat until Somebody the issue wins. has been decided. Yep. Well, I think this has been great. So, as you can see, it's a quick game. It's a bloody game. And we'd like to say that uh, this would resolve probably in the next turn or two, especially if I could get my two guys to focus on your one working fighter. Uh, and then you could say, well, that sucked. Let's play again. And we could absolutely do that. All right. So thank you. I learned Thank a lot. You.